Hey everyone, if you're like me and you are tired of juggling 4,000 or 5,000 passwords across sticky notes, browsers and random text files called uh, stuff.txt and so on, well this video is your rescue plan. Today we are setting up Fold Warden uh, which is a self-hosted version of Bitwarden using Docker and we are going to put it behind uh, the awesome power of traffic uh, reverse proxy. So all these we do so that your passwords are secure encrypted and accessible from anywhere all without giving a, a big tech company another slice of your digital pie so without any further ado go ahead grab your favorite drink i don't judge and let's dive in so the main documentation for fold warden is on github uh under dan galcia and as you can see it's an alternative uh, server implementation of bitwarden client uh, api uh it's written uh, written in rust uh, it's compatible with the official bitwarden client there's a disclaimer there but it's compatible so far as i know uh it's perfect for self-hosted deployment like our home lab or even small office setup and here is a list of features uh, it has a personal fault you can attach do attachment there's website icons for your accounts there's the api key you can create uh, organization and organization can have collections and all these are uh, awesome uh, categories you also have multi uh, factor authentication there's emergency access and so on so if you want to read uh, more about Paul Warden uh, go ahead and go to this link which I will put it uh, down in the description description of this video so uh, let's get started with uh, implementing fold warden so before we get started and go full nerd and fire up docker here is a brief uh, breakup of what we are going to do so we're going to install fold warden we have said this as a lightweight self-hosted alternative to bitwarden it has the same look feel and uh, easier on resources then we're going to put it behind traffic and traffic is a modern reverse proxy and a load balancer that routes incoming traffic to your containers it handles ssl certificates with let's encrypt and uh, it basically makes you look uh, like a a wizard so together with uh, joining those two services we are going to have a secure password manager with uh, HTTPS with a domain name and everything tidy and organized so what are the requirements to make this happen so here is your starter pack or the minimum requirements that you need to set up as i'm going to set it up so you need a docker and docker compose installed if you don't have that set up uh, there's a link in the description uh showing you my previous video where i did install docker and docker compose uh the second thing you need is a domain name for example vaultwarden.example.com yeah, again if you don't know how to go about that i have a, a whole playlist that i will link in uh, in the description below about uh, setting up your home dns and how to maintain and add new records to the dns and the last thing is traffic already installed and running and if you don't have that setup again i will link a video down in the description on my previous video where i did set up that so with that said now we are good to go ahead and uh, start working on uh, installing uh, this application so i normally keep all my docker applications under these directory called applications as you you can see i've already a traffic installed a potato installed uh, and i have a test app that i used to test when i was installing docker and docker compose and it's also my gen x uh, setup which i used to do my test in this lab yeah so we are going to create a directory here and this directory we're going to call it vault warden as you can see on my left here the directory is created and uh, i'm going to cd to that directory and inside this directory i'm also going to create another directory in here called data that's going to be our volume for our vault world and as you can see by ls now i got that one director so again i'm going to inside this directory i'm going to create a, a docker compose.yaml file so docker uh, sudo touch and it's going to be docker compose.yaml file and if i do ls now we should see the directory data and uh, the file itself so now i'm going to open this file and uh, inside this file i'm going to paste in my configurations and i'm going to explain what the configuration is doing so i'm starting a service uh, by the name fold walden i'm giving the container name and i'm picking the image uh, latest i'm mounting my volume data as we have created uh, this volume down here 
which is data and uh, i'm setting this container to always try to restart unless stop manually so unless stopped it will always keep uh, trying to restart uh, i have environments this one i will set it after we do the initial setup i would like not to have any signups uh, so that if anybody gets access of my url they will not create an account and uh, i'm setting up network and i'm using network web uh, if you remember from my previous video when i was setting traffic web is my traffic network which is publicly available so any container i want to use traffic i normally connect it to that network then yeah, i'm setting my traffic labels first you enable traffic then uh, i'm going to set my url for the default walden and uh, if i remember correctly i changed my uh, domain to vault.local.dkslab. Uh, and this should be com same to this one and that should be all my, the changes i need to put on this one so for your case go ahead and put in your domains inside there and lastly i'm going to introduce the network and set it to external to true and that's all you need to set up for this so i'm going to save this file and with that file set now it's time to let docker do its thing so if we do docker if we do docker compose up dash d so let me see what is happening on the mapping services for the world then so i think i have to command even the environment itself so let's save that and try okay now save now with that said let's go ahead and let docker do its thing so do docker compose app dash t and that should take a few seconds to go and put the image as well as start uh, the docker container and if we give these a few minutes we should be able to access this uh, url here we go we're able to access uh, the login uh, page and as you can see i'm accessing it uh, using https which is secure and voila as you can see we are able to access uh, our fold warden installation and the connection is secure as well uh, it's verified by let's encrypt so now we are going to create an account for our login so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to use a admin rdk's lab com and the name we're going to call it uh, admin let me call it administrator then we're going to have a master password and we're going to retype the password mm, hint say i don't know and then go ahead and create never save that password and my account is already created so with that said uh, i can say remember my email address then i'm going to put in my password and login so let me now maximize so this is now the installation this is what we have it shows uh, some steps here i've already completed the one to create an account i have nothing to import and uh, the last one is install a browser uh, extension and let me go ahead and show you how to install the extension and uh, most of the time i've been using extension i have not been using this interface as much so uh, for the extensions go ahead and search uh, bitwarden uh, Warden, if I can type, and this is the extension we are looking for. So go ahead and add to Firefox. Add. So if I go here, is the extension. Let me see if I can pin it to toolbar. So I pin it there. So let's go ahead and log into this uh, extension. So go ahead and put in your email. Mine was admin at uh, dkslab.com. Continue. So go ahead and change accessing bitwarden.com. Now from here, select self hosted. And now here is where we're going to put in uh, our address, which is HTTPS full column and mine is vault.local.dks.com we're going to save and we are going to log in with master password and boom here we go so we have our extension so you go ahead and add login put the item name the login name put in the username and your password you can also generate password and this is why i like uh, the extension more than uh, the web the web ui for example the password you can change the length to for example 30 characters you can also include all these guys you can generate that password for yourself so if you come here and create a login using uh, the web ui and uh, try to generate password let's see what we got here password characters it has up to 14 
seventeen, I think. Let me see. But as you can see, it's not uh, that user friendly. There's nothing. It's not. It's not flexible. Uh, like the extension is. So I like the extension more than uh, the interface because the extension will give me uh, the option to generate passwords with the length uh, I want uh, and so many other things. I can put minimum numbers. Do I want one ten? Minimum special characters. Avoid ambiguous characters. And uh, it looks nice. Like working with the, the extension. So I like the extension more than uh, the ui so with that said we have everything uh working and uh, the final thing to do is to go ahead and uh make sure nobody can create an account once they access your web ui and to do that we are going back to our docker compose and now we are going to uncomment these two lines and we are going to save this config and now i'm going to recreate uh this container again and now we are going to give it a few minutes because if we refresh here we are going to get a 404 error so we're going to give it a few minutes then uh, we'll be able to log in and now after setting the environment and uh, recreating the container as you can see i can only log in and uh, i can't create the account anymore let me go back to yeah so now the option to create account is all done and now we are good to go so as you can see our setup is clean professional and most important it's self-hosted so we have control of our privacy we're not giving out more data outside to the big tech companies and congratulations if you have reached this far now you just launched your own password manager and uh let's now talk about uh how to backup and getting updates so remember now this is a major part of in your infrastructure if at any point you lose access to this application and you don't have backup there's no other way to get access to it then uh you all will be very dark on that day and uh if you remember our setup we did set uh, a directory called data and this directory is our our main directory this is where everything is stored so if possible uh come up with your uh plan on how to back up uh, your data always back up this directory so long as you have this directory you can uh, spin up another instance of old world and, and uh, copy everything to this folder as well as you can restore uh you can restore it on this installation in case of anything so always keep these uh keep a backup of your data directory and uh yeah just come up with a plan in future after i don't know when i will come up with a video on how to do backups the best way possible because i don't think there is any best way to do it but they are like a standard way of uh, doing backups i will do that on how to backup our containers and everything that we have um so that's all about backups for now then how to update as always just go stop your container do a docker compose pool uh then do a call docker compose app dash d always keep a backup because you might up, uh, up do an update and uh, something breaks with that update and that way you can uh, roll back uh, your changes or just downgrade your version and uh, install the uh, copy your backup in there so that should be it on backups and how to update finally a security tip now because you're storing your passwords in uh in this setup it's like locking your front door and uh, leaving the windows open so make sure you use a uh, strong passwords for your vault world and login because if you have a weak password for the initial login then you are in a danger of uh, exposing your passwords to everybody also enable uh, the multi-factor authentication also make sure you have uh, failed to ban uh, for extra brute force protection and always keep watch of your logs if you notice any weird activity then you need to be aware of that and maybe change your passwords or check where that access is coming from and that's it you now have a fully operational fold warden setup which is behind a secure traffic proxy so you are no longer just someone with password with a password manager you are an it overload because you self host uh, and uh, you have ssl and domain name so you don't access anything using ip addresses and yeah looks nice so if this video helped you drop a like uh, subscribe because it helps more than you know and if you got any question go ahead and drop it uh, on the comments below i will read every single one and uh, respond to all of you so until next time keep your password secure and your servers running bye bye